In Excel, it's important to understand the difference between absolute and relative cell references. I've covered relative references in another video, but just to recap, relative cell references are plain references. C4, for example, has no special characters to signify that it's a, a relative reference. Relative references are just plain, regular cell references. With relative references, when I copy a formula down, for example, some C4 to D4, it will change from C5 to D5, 6, 7, and so forth. When I copy that down, it's changing only the row reference. Therefore, relative references will change the cell references in the formula relative to how you copy it. When I copy it from one row to the next, it changes just the row reference. Absolute references are different because they are used when you do not want a cell reference to change when you copy the formula. In this case, we have our total expenses for each particular animal shelter. And that's why we wanted the relative references here so that it would calculate the total expenses for each shelter. In the rest of the columns, what we will do is estimate our total expenses for next year. We will take the total expenses for each shelter and multiply it by our estimated percent of increase, which is 2%. That will give us only the amount of the increase. And then in column G, we will calculate the total expense uh, plus the increase. In this column, we will calculate the total expense times the estimated increase. That gives us E4 times H2. We'll copy the formula, and you can see there's an issue because it's not giving any numbers. Let's look at our cell references. E4 times H2. E4 here is correct, times H2, that's correct. When we copy it down to the next cell, it's E5, which is correct. We want it to use the next total expense. And then there's H3. There's nothing in H3. The next cell has E6, which is the total expense for the next animal shelter, which is correct. And then there's H4, and there's nothing in H4. When we're copying the formula, both of these are relative cell references. In order to create a correct formula, we need to make something absolute so that it does not change. We want the first cell reference in our formula, E4, we want that to change as we copy that down the column so that it will pull in the total expense for each different animal shelter. So this one is correct. That needs to stay a relative cell reference. The issue is when we're copying H2, we want every animal shelter's expenses to be calculated with the 2%. However, when it copies down, it is using the next row reference. We do not want that to happen. We want the H2 to say stay the same so that it's using 2% for each one. I'm going back to the first cell to correct it, and I'm going to make it absolute so this cell reference does not change. In order to make it absolute, you would put a dollar sign before the H and a dollar sign before the 2. There's a quick way to do that, and that's to press F4 on your keyboard. You might have to press the function key in F4, and that will provide the dollar signs before the column and before the row. If you toggle through that F4, it gives you mixed references. Just toggle back to the one that has two dollar signs for the full absolute reference. I'll press enter. I'll copy the formula. And that provides the correct numbers. These are the am amount of the increase. For the total estimated expenses, it's just going to be the expenses plus the amount of the increase. You could do all of this in one step, but I'm making it a little bit easier. Copy this formula. 
In this case, we want the total expense and the amount of increase to change so that it changes when we copy the formula down to each particular row. So both of these should be relative cell references so that for this row, it pulls in the total expenses for the first animal shelter and as well as the amount of increase. For this row, it pulls in these numbers. So those row references should change and those two will be the uh, relative cell references. However, in column F, we had to multiply each one of the total expenses for each shelter by 2%, so this H2 needed to be absolute with $2 signs so that that cell reference would not change. As a note for when to use relative versus absolute cell references, if you are referring in your formula to any data or cell references that are within the data here, then it's most likely going to be a relative cell reference. However, if you are referring to a cell that is outside of the data, like this one, it's probably going to be an absolute reference. That's not always the case, but that's a good way to remember when you might be able to use each one.